And right now I want to get to WBZ's Paul Burton, who has the pleasure of being just feet from the Boston Marathon finish line. And Paul, the whole time you've been there, people have been taking pictures and just soaking it all in. This is sometimes the greatest part of the race because there's a lot of anticipation. Folks are coming to the finish line. They're snapping their photos. They're nervous. They're excited. They're thrilled. They've been waiting for this for more than a year. And now that it's here, they're taking it all in as one big community. Wristbands if you're running on the left. With the 125th running of the Boston Marathon now just three days away, folks from around the world Costa Rica. are descending on Boston. I feel like the energy is just as strong as it always was, if not, if not more so. Have a great run. At the Heinz Convention Center, runners are anxious to pick up their bib numbers and take part in the Marathon Expo. Scared, nervous, excited. Peter Hobbs of Charlestown is taking all necessary precautions. I think they've done a great job. Everyone out there is going to be vaccinated. The expo was noticeably smaller this year due to the pandemic. Very few vendors remained spread out inside the Heinz, surrounded by a first-of-its-kind Sam Adams beer garden. It's okay. quiet. There's nothing here. There's I would, beer garden. Yeah. But the beer garden is here. <laughs> Right down Boylston Street at Copley Square, Fan Fest is underway. A pool of fewer runners and increased safety measures are in place, including a marathon vaccine verification and testing tent. I'm loving it. It's, uh, I mean, they've done a lot of planning to make sure that everybody's going to be safe, so I'm not worried about it. But this is a dream come true. This is my little boy's dream. My first Boston Marathon, um, and to be honest, I, I decided to do the Boston Marathon for my family. And come Monday, runners can't wait to cross this finish line. And so many people are doing it for a myriad of reasons. It's hard to imagine this didn't happen in 2020, but now it's back and everyone is fired up. Reporting live at the finish line, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News.